Well, Christian is back now with an idea for creating your own custom artwork using paint and glass. Yep. So I cannot believe this is DIY. Yep. This is amazing. Here. Christian made this beautiful piece of art on the wall. Wouldn't you, like, you'd pay money for this, right? Yeah. I will buy it. I will bid on that piece yeah. of art. There's this real big trend right now with abstract art making a comeback. So I'm yes. like, why don't you make your own? It's actually really quite simple. Yes. You can even do it with frames you already have at home. Okay. So I just went out and sourced a couple frames from Ikea. Mm -hmm. The funny thing now is, to make things lighter weight, the IKEA frames come with acrylic inside instead of glass, but it still works. Oh, okay. So what you're All gonna right. do is you're gonna buy two frames. Yeah. And then take out the insides. Yes. Right? So that you've got sort of basically two sheets. So really the reason you're buying two frames is you need two sheets of acrylic. Because right. we're going to layer it, so you get you layers of glass. You need two of, of these, so two because of these you want to layer them, and that's, I think that's why you've got a bit of, I mean, it almost it feels like you've got depth. a bit of depth yep. going on there, yep. which is great. The other thing you're going to need is some vellum, which you can mm -hmm. get any craft store. It's basically like a thin white paper, Okay. so you can trim it for the back. Any sort of paint brushes you want it. I've got a whole bunch of different ones here. Yep. This is actually called like a paint spatula. Nice. And then any color you want. I source these at sort of like one of those sort of five and dime stores. Okay, so really good. inexpensive. Any color you want. And I actually just keep them right in the bottle because you're going to squirt. Okay. It's very so easy. So pick acrylic whatever colors paint. you want. Yeah, acrylic paint. So it's water soluble so you can't make a mess. I'm going to so use these. Start. And I, there's no method. Do you want method. to do one layer? I'll do one layer. It's no method. It's whatever. So we're gonna. So we have to have our colors coordinated. We do. What are you gonna? I'm gonna use these three. I think. I think we what need maybe think? a little hit of yellow too. Do it. And maybe some black. Yeah, do it. So the only rules I used to teach kids how to Oops, do art are there at one rules? point. There are no rules. Can you pass me one of those? Um, of course. Thank you. When you're doing art, you're supposed to have a feeling. Oh, okay. Like, are you feeling happy? I feel angry. happy. So then I make it work angry. in your paint. Just joking. <laughs> Well, add some black. Angry. So you can do almost anything from splattering. Yeah. You'll see in the combination, or you can also work with paintbrushes. Okay, but just go to town. So literally going to town. Mm-hmm. You can do sort of any sort of painting. I mean, I got some mixture. So if you don't want color blocking, you can actually mix the two. I think this is such a fun. Um, so it's very easy to do. Such a fun project to do, and especially that you can be your own yep. local artist that yep. you love. And then an right? extra tip I tried is I actually went to that same Five and Dime mm -hmm. and sourced these sort of portable spray bottles. Okay. And filled them with paint. So oh, when you, so you do can get these, some... you get, it's so funny, I thought I would get a spray, it doesn't really work that way. Okay. But when you squirt it, you get this weird sort of like drippy. I like it. Edgy. Can I have some of that? Yeah. <laughs> Gold, silver, whatever color you want. Yeah. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. So then I always found when I was doing it, is as you're working out, you're going to let it dry mm -hmm. overnight. Use a hair dryer if you can. Is you start, as you start to layer them, Yeah. you can see what you're liking or not liking of where you oh, need to add. Oh, that's cool. Right? Yours is perfect. It's already perfect, so I say we we smoosh them together. Smoosh them together. So I baked them in the oven for you overnight. Oh my god, amazing. <laughs> they came out slightly <laughs> different. I like this even better. But what I love is because of the acrylic. Yeah, they're a little glary. Yeah. A little bit glary, but you actually get the paint intensifies versus on this side when it's flat. Yes. It's like it enhances it, right? Yeah. So then all you're going to do to finish it up, really simple, you take your frame. Okay. Layer whichever ones you want first. I think the black guy. So you want to put the paint facing into you, basically away from the wall. Okay. First guy in. And then this second way. Second guy in. So you get the layer. And then I pre-cut for us. You could actually leave it clear if you wanted to and show you your can, wall. You can actually. Yeah, if you want to show the wall. That's you want to show the bad. wall color, you can do that. And then if you pre-cut your yeah, vellum. We'll put, it, we'll put it behind so you can see it better. Cut your vellum. What put do you it guys on the think? thing I love about this yeah. is when you're done and you change the paint color of your house, whatever yeah. you do, because you've actually used, well you don't need this much, you've used a water soluble paint, Yeah. you can actually just, this oh, one's really dry, but you can take it off. Oh, that's amazing. So any mistakes you make, I'll show you, you can take it off. Even on that guy, I kind of did this. Yeah. You get sort of a new interesting texture, but you can literally wipe it all off and start all over again. That's so there's so no cool. mistakes. Listen, that looks amazing. I love it. I love the fact that you can customize it and make it whatever colors you want and just have some fun and be creative. Christian, yeah. thank you for that.